Yeah, well, um, I always wanted to um, get into, I mean, as soon as I knew about film scoring, I loved the idea of it, especially because uh, in my late teens and early 20s, I really became a serious film sort of watcher. Uh, and I loved the idea of doing the music for them. Um, but I kind of was a bit trapped in a way just by circumstances and I was always doing theme music for stuff, heaps of theme music. So opening uh, titles and stings and, and end credits. Uh, and lots of documentaries. And it wasn't until I think um, 2000 that I did my first drama work, which was with a tally feature called The Possum Hunter. I don't know, it just piqued my interest and I, um, uh, I just always wanted to do it. I was like, that is me, that's what I wanted to do with you know, my, my talents. What I like is really spending time on something. Um, you know, also uh, production-wise, you get to have, you know, amazing gear and you can manipulate sound, you know, as much as you can possibly think of. Writing music and producing it, you know, in your, in your own environment is, is, is the beauty of it. You really get to muck around with sound. It's good. <laughs> Well, I guess I try and think a lot about the story and the characters and the locations and often things that are set in the past also think about the era and that for me uh, it always starts with finding some sounds that sort of speak to that and that can populate that world. I guess what I usually like to do is I get a new scene, I just like to throw things at it and I usually do that when no one's around, that's why it's nice to have a studio that's soundproof, just throw things and a heinous noise at it and just make a big ridiculous horrible sound and then just take things that are working and chuck out things that are not and just trim it, trim it back to, to something that sort of is starting to work. Usually the process is uh, I've got the pictures up here, the dialogue's going, and in a scene like this, I would usually sort of work up a. Did you lose him? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, you know, work up a rhythm track of some kind. For instance, probably start with a drum track of some kind, so I kind of get an uh, indication of what kind of groove I'm after. So what we're after is kind of a grunty soundtrack. So I'd then go about sort of um, laying in guitar tracks. and find some notes and some melodies but those those are totally unconnected for me so there's the sounds and then there's the straight out notes uh, and I don't confuse those things initially because I want the notes to be able to stand on their own uh, and the sounds should also be evocative without doesn't doesn't matter what notes you put in them so I, I do that stuff early on and then sooner or later I, I'll end up with some pictures um, and that's when, yeah, I get down to work and um, the director or producer and I decide where the music should go and what it should say and, yeah, we start to collaborate on it, I guess. You know, it's a, it's a collaborative uh, 
piece of the filmmaking puzzle. And I'm sort of approaching like this. I'm watching the scene, adding little bits in, bumping up little, Whatever. you know, moments here and there. Just the usual protest stuff, eh? I'm kind of lucky because I get to work on really, really great stuff. And that's like, makes it really cool. Also, um, you know, working with a lot of directors and producers and obviously writers um, that, you know, supply me with some very, very, very good material that I can go forth and do what I have to do. And, and I'm, my job is providing musical solutions for the filmmakers, um, yeah, objectives. Some kind of freaky bit at the end. But yeah, I mean that's the beauty of it, is the challenge of it. It's never easy. Some days you wake up and you go, yeah, I've got it. Some days you just don't, right? Maybe there's no inspiration, maybe the environment's not right or whatever, but you still have to do it. Initially, the thing I found hard with drama was doing stuff to go underneath dialogue. On the first few things I did, that was always a challenge. It was like, I can, I can make music, sure. I can make scary music and exciting music, but what do you do when it's sort of under, under dialogue? So, so that is something I used to uh, find challenging. Now I'm, I'm kind of, it's such an everyday activity that I feel like I don't notice it. The other thing I guess is trying to both tell the story and just serve the project, but also make music that sounds cool. So um, it's a lot easier, the job of being a screen composer, if you don't care about making music that sounds cool, because then you just think, how do I tell a story? But then what I don't like is when you turn off the pictures and you just listen to the piece back, and it's just like, oh, I don't like that music. Um, so I'm always trying to um, make stuff that's good music to listen to as well. Um, and that's when things get challenging sometimes because it can be, um, yeah, you, your options are a lot more narrow when you're trying to do both things at once. Yeah, it's, it's the beauty of it. If it was really, really simple, it would be like working at the checkout at Countdown, you know? It's like, yeah, it, it's, it's a completely amazingly cool challenge. I can block that sound out quickly. In an ideal world, you you hopefully can subliminally just pique the interest of the viewer. Um, Hopefully that will establish the mood, right? Well, I guess music is all about frequencies, isn't it? And some frequencies give us a kind of a relaxed feeling and some, you know, combinations of frequencies, I should say, um, give us a relaxed feeling. Others give us a tense feeling. Um, others give us an emotional feeling. And so I guess it's using those combinations um, and, yeah, using rhythm to give a sense of momentum and so on. I don't know, I think what we do in this country is very different than, I guess, the American way where you smack someone over the head with some music and say, this is what you're going to think and feel, um, which is a lovely thing because we can just be very supportive of the great programs that we, you know, that we get to work on. And then as you do more and more of that, you begin to get a sense of what might be good um, for different things you're working on. If something's meant to be um, kind of warm and accessible and so on, I probably wouldn't use a pipe organ, you know. Um, I might use an acoustic guitar or something. Um, yeah, which is kind of obvious in a way. Um, but then you can also turn that on its head, you know, and, um, 
use an unexpected instrument in a new different way and that, that can be cool too. Um, but all that's the kind of trial and error and mucking around and um, there's a lot of experimentation in this job I think. If, if someone wants something out of you that they can't, they can't voice, then it's up to you to understand, hopefully, out of you know what they have told you, and break that down, and then turn that into music. I mean, that's why it's not for everyone this job. It's not for just a musician. You know, there's great, great, great musicians out there, but that's the toughest component of it. So, I mean, sometimes musicians can think, oh, that would be a sweet deal to get paid to write music for TV. I love writing music um, or, or film. Um, and I don't think of it that way. I mean, one, it's very hard work, but also I think it only really works if you're super passionate about film and storytelling and, t and TV. It's a supportive role. Sometimes in people will stop talking and you get to like, I don't know, have a bit of a feature thing, but yeah, I think that's primarily what it is. It's a supportive role and you're part of a big machine and, um, you know, when it's going well, that big machine works amazingly well and your job's really easy and everything's going awesome. You can produce, you know, the best stuff you've ever done. It's part of the storytelling um, and that, I think, um, it's only people who are really passionate about that aspect of it that are right for um, this sort of work. Sometimes I find it hard to just sit down and make music for no reason. Doing this job gives me a reason. And, you know, it's what I think I was born to do was this job. I like to get up every day and have a whole bunch of scenes and a whole bunch of direction and really know what my day's going to be like and go for it, you know, that's sort of, that's sort of what gets me up in the morning, really.